Welcome to the Lights Camera Pro Podcast, where we interview entertainment pros about their careers and how they became successful in the industry. The secrets to their success here every week. Here's your host, Sean Ventura. Go to Apple Podcasts and Spotify and subscribe, rate, and review. Hello, all you Star Wars junkies out there. This is The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, Chapter 11. The heiress. First, let me start by saying this was a fun episode. And as my friend Eddie pointed out in a Facebook post, this is the second episode directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, the woman who's in the Jurassic Park movies. She was in Lady in the Water. So cool that she's doing it. And she directed the one that had like the At At Walker and earlier, I think it was episode four, season one. But she has also directed another episode. So we open up in the Razor Crest in space, and our three friends are asleep with their precious cargo, the frog woman and the eggs. Mando says, get ready for landing as they fly through the atmosphere on Trask and start burning up. He has the frog woman hold down this lever in the Razor Crest so that he can do something else. And it doesn't look like they're gonna make it. Air traffic control saying they're coming in too fast and people are freaking out and people are moving down on the pier where they're about to land, but they do actually pull up quick enough and they don't crash. This is the planet Trask and it's like a, it's like a shipping village. It's like a pier with all these boats and people fishing and The men of this planet, they're called the Squid Men, and they're also called Corrin. I had to look this up. They first appear in Return of the Jedi with character Admiral Akbar. They kind of have like octopus faces with a couple of tentacles or a few tentacles coming off of them. They get to the port and Mando asks if one of the Squid Men can fix his ship. And he says, he'll try. And he throws him a coin and says, do what you can. And the frog woman is looking for her husband with her egg backpack and finally sees him. And they are all reunited together. Mando asks if they can go find the Mandalorians now or, or tell them, tell Mando where the Mandalorians are. And they say, come back to this bar. And we know some people who know where they are. So they go to this bar and the guy wants them to order food. So he orders this chowder for, um, the child and it's a funny little scene where baby Yoda uh, essentially is eating this chowder but knows something's in the soup and this little squid thing pops out and sucks on his face and Mando says don't play with your food and he hits it with a knife and it goes back in the bowl so it's a cute little scene so the frog people introduce Mando to one of these squid men and he says he knows where the other Mandalorians are. I'll take you on my ship there. It's going to cost you money, though. And Mandalorian agrees. So they're riding on the ship and they're about to do some fishing and they open up this big open area in the middle of the ship. And it's water for them to put nets in. And it's a trap. Uh, all the fishermen on the ship pull out their spears and they push Mando into the giant opening. And there's a huge... Um, fish in there with teeth and and they throw the baby Yoda or the child into the mouth. And so now baby Yoda is in his little metal orb inside this mouth and Mando goes to try and save him. Well, just as it looks bleak, they close this big metal grid on him and they're stabbing him with spears and he can't breathe and he's going underwater. Uh, Mando, that is, three Mandalorians with blue suits came flying in on jetpacks and kill all the guys and open it up and um, the opening and the grid of metal and, and basically save Mando and the child. And the fish spits out baby Yoda's little metal orb and it's all dented and he's okay inside. They essentially rescue Mando and the baby Yoda and kill all the squid men. And Mando says, thank you. And they take off their helmets and Mando says, a Mandalorian does not take off their helmet. And they say, uh, well, before I get into that and their little conversation, let me just tell who's playing the um, Mandalorians in their names. So Kate Sackoff, who used to be on Battlestar Galactica and Longmire, plays Bo-Katan Kreese. And Mercedes Bernardo plays Cosca Reeves. And Simon Cassianides is Axis Woves. 
So those are the three characters, the blue um, Mandalorians. Okay, so now we've established their names and who's playing them. And the leader, Katie Sackoff or Boca Tan Kreese, she says that she takes off her helmet because this is the way. And Mando says, this is not the way. And she says, well, what Mandalorian faction are you from? And he said, I'm from, I was rescued as an orphan. And she says, well, you're part of the Watch, children of the Watch. And they're trying to go back to ancient ways. And he says, taking off your helmet is not the way of the Mandalore. And there's only one way. And he flies off, pissed off in his jetpack. So Mando and the child come upon the fishing pier and they are surrounded by squid men. And one of them says, you killed my brother and now I'm going to kill your pet. <laughs> the three blue Mandalorians fly in on their jetpacks and once again save Mando and Kate Sackoff or Boca Tan Kreez says, he didn't kill your brother, I did. And they kill all the squid men and save Mando. Well, they go back to this bar and they're talking about how to found find the Jedi. And she says, I'll help you find the Jedi, but you have to help me take the ship. It has a ton of weapons on it. And she doesn't want the Imperial forces to get their hands on them. So he agrees and they take him down to the pier and show him the ship that they're going to attack in the morning. And that's exactly what they do. They attack it in the morning, but before they attack the ship, Mando takes the child to the frog man and the frog woman and who had the eggs in the earlier episode and asks them if they'll watch him while he goes to battle. And they say they will. They attack the ship and it's very much like in Star Wars A New Hope when Vader comes on the ship with all his stormtroopers, but it's the opposite. And it's Mando and the Mandalorians coming on the ship and killing all the stormtroopers instead of rebels and then making their way to the cockpit. They find all the guns. They kill a bunch of stormtroopers. There's some infighting between the Mandalorians because Mando says, I'm done with this. You know, we found the gun, so I'm leaving. She's like, I need your help. Please help another Mandalorian. We have to get into the cockpit, take over the ship. And he said, whoa, I didn't sign up for this. And in the cockpit is the captain, who's an Imperial captain. And it's Titus Welliver from Bosch, who's one of my favorite actors. I love that show. I've watched all six seasons. And um, so it's very cool to see him in a different role. And um, Giancarlo Esposito, who we know from earlier episodes, is the bad... Uh, Imperial commander and his name is Muff Gideon and he, Muff tells the captain that basically you know what to do which is essentially you need to commit suicide and crash the ship so they can't take it so he starts flying the ship into the pier and the cockpit is blocked by a bunch of stormtroopers and the Mandalorians have to get through them. And they do because Mando does this sort of like suicidal run with these bombs and throws them at him and gets shot a bunch of times, which um, Bo-Katan later thanks him for his bravery. Because they do get the ship and they do pull it up at the last second before it crashes into the pier. She says, thank you. And the Mandalorian says, where can I find the, the, the Jedi? And she says, you can find the Jedi go to the city of Kaladin on the forest planet Corvus and ask for So Gatano. And she will tell you where the Jedi are. So he goes to get the child from the frog couple. <laughs> so stupid to say the frog couple, but yeah, uh, it's the frog couple. And they go back to their ship. <clears throat> There's this funny little scene where, you know, of course, Baby Yoda, the child, is looking at the eggs, and, and one of the eggs is hatched, and it's a little frog now. They go and get the ship, which has barely been put back together by the um, squid men in the, in the port, in the pier. So it's all, they're all put together with seaweed and nets rather than metal, and it looks crappy. But they do take off, and there's this little scene at the end where this little squid thing is crawling towards the child while he's in the seat in the cockpit and Mando just grabs it and then he actually gives it to him and he eats it and that's the end. So this show was so much fun, so cool that Bryce Dallas Howard directed it, that Katie Sackhoff was in it from Battlestar and I love it when there's multiple Mandalorians and they all work together so I hope there's more of this in the future. I love this show. I know you do too because you're listening to this. I hope this was a fun review. It was fun for me. Uh, this is Sean Ventura from the Lights Camera Pro Podcast. And take care. I will see you guys in the next episode. That's it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.
Thanks for listening to the Lights Camera Pro Podcast, where entertainment pros talk about how they made their dream into a career. Go to Apple Podcasts and Spotify and subscribe, rate, and review. Thanks to Bob Jurgens for the rock and VO and Joseph McDade for the music. All right, see you next time.